And finally, at number one, the best of the best, the attack helicopter that replaced the Cobra to become the deadliest chopper in the world. AH-64D Apache Longbow. Manufacturer, the Boeing Company. Type, attack helicopter. Power plant, two General Electric T-700 GE-701C turbo shafts. Principal armament, one 30mm automatic cannon, 16 Hellfire anti-tank missiles. 76 70 mm folding fin aerial rockets. Maximum cruising speed 165 miles per hour. The Apache would have to be the most intimidating looking weapon systems ever developed. The intimidation factor, the fear factor of this aircraft, it just looks bad. Is a mean looking helicopter. It is scary. It gives fright to the enemy. The thought of being on the ground and looking up and seeing an Apache come around for another turn, you get out of there. That's why it deserves to be number one. First entering service in 1984, the AH 64A Apache was America's answer to Cold War fears of a Soviet ground attack in Europe. The result? A $20 million can opener with state-of-the-art technology. The Apache is the response to thousands and thousands and thousands of Russian tanks. So the idea was field a modern, high-tech, guided anti-tank rocket and put it on a heavy airframe with lots of targeting systems on it. Built to endure frontline environments, it can operate during the day or night and in adverse weather using the integrated helmet and display sight system. It's also equipped with some of the latest avionics and electronics, such as the target acquisition designation sight, the pilot night vision system, black hole passive infrared countermeasures, and nap of earth navigation and GPS. When you bring the Apache to the table, you bring an extremely complex and technical machine. I almost see the Apache pilot as just another black box in an aircraft full of black boxes. You've got this almost Terminator machine that's going into your right eye with a heads-up display and the image from the infrared camera, and it just feels high-tech. It's almost playing a video game. In fact, the, the guys that, that make the best uh, combat Apache pilots you could say we're good video game players as teenagers. But attack helicopters aren't about computers. They're about delivering a knockout punch. The Apache is an immense, incredible weapon system for destroying almost anything that causes you heartache on the modern battlefield. The Apache has uh, a pretty large gun on it. Uh, it's a 30 millimeter gun that fires high explosive rounds at about 650 rounds per minute. It also has a, uh, a laser-guided missile, the Hellfire missile, that saw its, its first real use in Desert Storm, uh, where the Apache was tremendously successful. The Apache's high-tech capabilities, combined with its awesome offensive armament, makes it the helicopter that pilots want to fly. Having flown the Apache, I can safely say that uh, after my first flight, I didn't want to fly anything else. Everybody wants to fly the Apache. Even if they don't say it, they think it. When you sit in it, there's a sense of strapping the whole aircraft around you, and you're actually in, uh, pretty much surrounded by armor. Um, so the overall sense is, you know, I I'm dealing with a big dog here. And when the big dog was let out of the kennel during the Gulf War, it proved that its bite was bigger than its bark. On February 27, 1991, Apache attack helicopters and A-10 ground attack aircraft hit the retreating Iraqi army on the Basra Road. They simply took out the lead vehicle and the tail trail vehicle and just annihilated the entire convoy. Uh, it was also uh, the aircraft that fired the opening shots of the Gulf War. It took out the radar sights and cleared the way for the uh, air war to begin. Although the Apache was already the dominant helicopter on the battlefield, in the mid-90s, it was upgraded to the AH-64D. Fire and forget Hellfire missiles became part of its standard payload, and a new radar system known as Longbow was added. Sitting above its rotors, Longbow gives the Apache truly awesome capabilities, 
including the ability to detect and classify more than 128 targets, prioritize the 16 most dangerous, and initiate a precision attack. That gives you an ability to attack a target array and, and start shooting on it very, very quickly because it's taken what you are looking for, what your commander has told you to go out and do, and it's translating it and processing it very rapidly for you. But perhaps the ultimate testimony to the Apache is its ability to deter the enemy without firing a shot. Well, the Iraqis, when confronted with the Apache, basically surrendered to the aircraft rather than uh, take it on in combat. The mere presence of Apaches means that the bad guys aren't going to do anything bad to our ground guys. When we fly, guys don't die. Our number one helicopter has impressive stats, awesome fear factor, high innovation, great survivability, and a service length that's going to extend beyond 2020.